Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I was gonna have Sesame intro us, but he <laughs> this is so gross, Sesame. He had some poo on his paw, which happens sometimes, I feel like maybe it's just Sesame, I don't know. He's a kitten, sometimes he plays with his poo, and then I have to give him a bath. Anyways, I just cleaned him up. Um, but <laughs> great intro, April. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing something really fun that I have wanted to do for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it. We are doing a healthy TikTok snacks video. I chose six or seven yummy recipes that I had saved on TikTok, just in my saved file, and we're gonna make them today. I have all the ingredients. We're also gonna talk about if they're actually healthy, because that's, uh, that's why it's in quotation marks. Some of them might not be. I'll also show you how to make good substitutions for ingredients to make them a little bit more healthy if you choose and you want to do that. Of course, not everything you eat has to be 100% healthy. So please give this video a like. It is a lot of effort to go and cook all of these things and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of any new videos. I make videos every single Monday around 1 p.m. So it's something to look out for. And without further ado, I'm gonna tell you the recipes that we have on deck for today. Okay, so we have pancake banana dippers. Really excited for that one because I'm kind of in the mood for breakfast food right now. We have strawberry banana frozen treats. Gonna be good. Healthy cookie dough. You guys, if the healthy cookie dough recipe works out, it's going to change my life. I love cookie dough. In fact, I'm obsessed with the Daily Harvest Bites. I don't know if you've tried them. They're so good. They're like healthy cookie dough. I just, I can eat them like all day and forget to eat a meal, which I don't do. I try my best not to do that, but they're that good. I'm also going to be cooking peanut butter bites. So that's kind of similar to the Daily Harvest bites. I'm going to be cooking frozen yogurt cups because they looked good. And then kale chips, just because I'm like kind of curious about that. All right, you guys, we're going to start with the pancake dippers, pancake banana dippers. And I have the batter right here. Okay, so we're gonna watch the videos together, but just keep in mind, I can't play the music because of copyright reasons. So we'll just put our own music over it or something, we'll figure it out. Um, all right, starting with the banana ones. see that chocolate dip at the end. I'm not gonna do that, but we'll do the rest of it. Okay, so I have the pancake batter um, pretty much mixed all the ingredients here, so I just have to mix it up. I used a paleo pancake mix, just had fewer ingredients than a processed one, but you can make whatever you want. I haven't had pancakes in the longest time, but I really love foods that you can just like make really quickly that aren't a lot of ingredients, and this sort of definitely looks like one of them. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut the banana. These feel large. I might make them smaller. Okay. Okay, so the batter here. And then I'm submerging it like they did. And then I'm just placing it on the pan. flip some of these. Oh, cute. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, you guys, here we have the banana poppers and we're gonna try them out. Okay, I don't have anything to dip them in, but they smell really good. God, that's so good. Didn't really realize it till now, but it's a basically banana pancakes. I think if I had that chocolate sauce, that would be really good. But oh my God, this is, this is so good. The inside's like sweet. And then the outside's obviously like breaded. Delicious. Okay, so let's talk about these are healthy. If I can stop eating them, that would be good. But let's talk about if this is a healthy snack. 
So pancake mix, I just took a, a look at the one I used. I used uh, paleo pancake mix. And it's uh, got some protein, it's got some mostly carbs and a little bit of fat. It's actually pretty balanced in terms of PFF, what I teach. Protein, fats, and fibrous carbs. It's how you can balance your meals to get a really, really healthy meal that helps your metabolism and helps you stay in fat burning mode. Um, in terms of the bananas, that's only carbohydrates. So the only, the only improvement that this meal could have is to have higher protein content. In the future, I'm going to probably bake a vanilla protein powder or a flavorless collagen protein powder into the pancake mix and then put it on the pan. That way it'll have more like 15 grams of protein-ish and the carbs are okay, about 30, 35 grams of carbs, that's fine. And it'll probably have about 10 grams of fat, maybe. Actually, that's not counting the coconut oil I added, so it would be like 15 grams of fat. In general, probably like a special occasion breakfast just because it's a lot of fat for one meal. And if I was gonna work out, I probably wouldn't feel too good only because fats are the slowest digesting macronutrient. And when you eat a lot of a fat heavy meal and then you go to work out, your body is literally still in digesting mode and it stops digesting in order to work on all the other metabolic things you need to work on when you're exercising. And that's what kind of leads to like the stomach ache while you're working out. So I would leave this for like a Sunday morning breakfast where I'm not gonna work out, maybe like a rest day and enjoy it. But it's good, it's actually, I would say it's pretty healthy. It's also not a lot of ingredients in it, which is always a really good sign when you're looking for healthy snacks. Okay, next up we have strawberry banana treats. Bananas again. like banana strawberry ice cream. I just like the way these look. These just look really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get all our ingredients. Okay, so the yogurt I'm gonna use for this is Siggy's. I like Siggy's, it's vanilla, because it's um, lower, lower sh added sugar content than, for example, Chobani. Even the less, the less sugar option of Chobani still has a lot of sugar in it, so that's just something to be aware of. I think what I, what I, I'm not even sure I chose this video for the reason other than that it's very soothing to watch. Like she or he um, uses the Kira Kira filter so it's like super sparkly and harp music in the background. I don't know, I was watching it and I was like, yes, I do, I do wanna eat that. I feel like we should talk about bananas because they are a healthy snack, but they're 100% carbohydrates, fast digesting energy, sugars, uh, really good pre and post workout. You know, fruit is always healthy, but if you eat, if you're eating a few a day, it's gonna start to be a lot of carbohydrates that you can't really make use of. So just you know, if you're gonna have one, have one definitely, and you know, it's great as a post or pre workout fuel. My strawberries are not gonna be frozen like hers were but I figure that's, that's fine, right? I feel like I don't need to, it didn't look like I needed too many strawberries for this, so. Let me pop this in the microwave. Okay, I don't think I'd recommend uh, doing it this way. I think I would, I could just do it, I'm just kind of being lazy, but I would put it in maybe a, electronic bullet, like a electronic bullet, a magic bullet um, or a blender or something. Okay, so we have like a soupy, it's really hot, a soupy mixture here. So she took out all the clumps. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Maybe I will, I don't know. I don't really wanna waste, waste the strawberry. Yeah, cause there's a lot of clumps. I'm just gonna leave it and we'll see. Hmm, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna mix it in. Okay, that's what we have. And now I'm going to use a, like a 
guess I could use this. Just coat them and then lay them on the tray. Oh, I see what she's saying. The clumps kind of like get stuck, but it's, it's really not a big deal. Okay, so we have them here looking real cute and I'm gonna pop them in the freezer. Super excited about these. These look delicious. So these are the strawberry and banana yogurt bites. Ooh. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. I'm gonna put them in the bowl. This is good. They taste like ice cream. I didn't I didn't think they would. Um, so I'm a little surprised. They actually really do taste like ice cream. And what's great is they're it's all natural sugars. Again, this is definitely more of a dessert, I would say. It's not very balanced. There's no fats unless your yogurt has some healthy fats. And there's no protein. Okay, you guys, we are we've arrived at the cookie dough. This is this is the one I'm most excited to try. Can become pizza? You, my friend, can become cookie dough. First, you gotta rinse your beans. Beans in the blender. A fourth a cup of peanut butter. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Three tablespoons of almond flour, if you're going gluten free. And two tablespoons of Aunt Jemima. Oh, and a little bit of salt bay Now, pop it on your blender because it's party time. I kind of want to do a face plant. Now the last thing we have to do is add some public chips. Here we go, us. Okay. Okay, so I kind of just realized something unfortunate. My, so my magic bullet, it only really breaks up liquids, like it's for smoothies. It's not going to be able to handle all of these dry, creamy substances. So I'm gonna to have to do the cookie dough by hand. But rest assured, I made a matcha dalgona with my hands, my bare hands. And I did not have a blender for that. In case you don't know what a dalgona is, it's that thing that we've been seeing on Instagram that's like whipped, um, has like that really frothy top on top of a latte or a matcha. And you have to beat egg whites for like 15 minutes with an egg beater. So with my hands, I beat it for like 25 minutes. My arms literally fell off, but I had a matcha dal going after that. So I trust we can make this work. We will We will see though. Okay, so I have the chickpeas, they are washed. Okay, we have a fourth of cup of peanut butter, which I'm just going to estimate with my eyes. We'll see, looks about right to me. I'm using Justin's peanut butter. This is my favorite kind of peanut butter. If I do eat it, this is what I'm going for. Always gotta look a spoon, you know? We have two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, well, we went a little over, but hopefully the cookie dough will forgive us. Now she used almond flour. I'm gonna use coconut flour because almond flour is very high in fat. And while fat's good and it's a healthy fat, I just would prefer to have the fats in this come from the peanut butter and the chocolate, which has a little bit of fat, rather than the actual cookie dough. So that's my personal personal swap there. Okay, and then she sweetens it with Aunt Jemima, which is maple syrup. She's saying two tablespoons. I'm gonna use a light agave, different sweetener, a little bit less processed, just uh, prefer a cleaner ingredient here. And she used quite a bit of sweetener, so. Plus, when we add chocolate, there's gonna be a lot of sweets in that. I'm gonna have to hand mash this, and then I'll show you how it comes out. So I'm just gonna stop here and add some chocolate chips. These are just Ghirardelli semi-sweet. I'm actually gonna taste these first and see if I like them. That was a dumb question. I, I just want to have chocolate chips, let's be real. <laughs> okay. I'm just pouring in some chocolate chips. And then I'm gonna mix it up again. 
It actually does look like cookie dough, like the consistency and the coloring. not just make this a bowl of chocolate April, right? Like, keep things reasonable. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna taste test this now. And I kind of, I have a confession. Off camera, as I was going at this thing, something came over me and I took a bite. So you didn't get my initial reaction. And I can't lie to you guys and pretend like this is the first time trying it. I don't know, I wasn't even thinking. I just was like, gotta, gotta eat this right now. Um, so I already know it's bomb, but I haven't tried it with the chocolate yet, so. Mmm. Oh my god. Like, what? This is crazy. It is so good, you guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If this were in the fridge for a few hours, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference between this and actual cookie dough. It's perfect. It's so good. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a little bit and get it nice and cool. Okay, you guys, I'm very excited about the cookie dough, but we're moving on to the fourth recipe, which is frozen yogurt cups, which I could have done when I did the strawberry and banana, but I did not, so let's watch this one together. Add vanilla yogurt. Add some blueberries. Add the peaches. Goji berries and cheese seeds with some crunch. Put them in the freezer to set. Yum. Simple enough. I don't have little cupcake papers, but I do have a muffin tray, so I'm gonna try using that. Okay, so I went ahead and I actually filled the tray with parchment paper because I felt like that'd be easier. And I'm trying it with two different yogurts I have to see which one tastes better. One is a non-fat, plain Greek yogurt, so it will taste truly like that froyo, like unflavored style. Um, and then I, I used also the vanilla. So two of them, two of them, and I'm just adding some toppings now. And as far as this being a healthy snack, this is a great snack. What I love about it is that it is high in protein given the, the yogurt is a great source of protein. Um, if you get a partial fat yogurt, if you get a partial, ooh, partial fat yogurt, you have a little fats in there. She also added chia seeds, which I thought was a great idea. Chia seeds are an awesome source of healthy fats, protein, and fiber. They're like the holy grail of PFF. You can add them to anything, by the way. Um, they're typically easier to digest if they've been soaked in something like almond milk or water. But you can also, you know, add them to things like this on top of your oatmeal. So I'm just sprinkling in some on each one. I already added the blueberries. I'm also gonna add my own toppings that she didn't add. I'm gonna add some um, unsweetened shredded coconut. That's pretty. I'm also gonna add some sliced almonds for the crunch. I didn't have goji berries. I don't really like buying goji berries. I love how they taste, but they're so expensive in New York. It's like $15 for a little baggie of them. So I said, you know what? We can do without that today. Okay, a couple sliced almonds. Since I'm using some non-fat yogurt, the almonds are gonna be good for me to get some of those nice healthy fats in there. And then I'll show you guys how these came out. Okay, and this is what we got. I'm going to pop these all in the freezer right now. Okay, shall we try one of these? I'm not sure which one was which. Okay, no, I do know. Okay, so these ones were the vanilla Siggies and these were the Greek yogurt. I think I'm gonna try, which one should I try? I'll try the Greek yogurt one. And I'm just unwrapping it. Wow. Oh, my little parchment paper hack wasn't too bad. Ooh. Mmm. Whoa. Okay. That's really good. The crunch is really good. Um, what I like about this is it's really simple and it's not as sweet as some of the other desserts we had or snacks, some of them are desserts. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end it actually with this, this last recipe, kale chips. I know I said I was gonna do the peanut butter bites, but honestly, I looked over that recipe again and I was like, this isn't anything special. It was just like peanut butter and oats and honey rolled into balls and like we all know what that tastes like. So we're just gonna do a more savory snack here 
and let's take a look at the TikTok recipe. baking kale, but why would I, right? <laughs> why would anyone have experience baking kale? I was just gonna say, I mean, obviously I have it in salads and everything, but I haven't ever had to prepare it really. So this would be my first time doing this. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I guess I'll just, I'll put the big pieces on here and then I'll break them up as we go along. So this is a great snack because um, I would say it's a great alternative to a potato chip. You don't get, you know, the high calorie snack that a potato chip is. The only thing is kale can be very hard for some people to digest. In fact, it pretty much strips your digestive system down. It's, it's a lot to break down. So some people might not have an easy time digesting kale. Okay, for seasonings, I'm gonna follow exactly what she recommended for the most part. I'm not gonna do the chili. I like, I do like a little spicy chip, but I don't have any uh, chili pepper or spices with me right now. So we'll stick with salt, pepper. We'll do some garlic powder. I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil over it. Oop. When a drizzle turns into a free pour, that's why I don't free pour it ever, especially when I cook on a, on a frying pan. It's just so hard to not just go overboard. Oh, the smell of olive oil. Just so good. Now I'm gonna massage it for two minutes straight. Um, this is gonna be fun. Honestly, I would rather do this than um, mush the cookie dough because that was a workout. So here's what the kale looks like. It's fully coated and I'm just going to pop this in the oven for 12 minutes. Okay. Looks good. Honestly, I would probably eat it like this. And here they are. I'm just letting them cool so that they get all crispy. Okay, you guys, it's time to taste test the kale chips. They smell really good and they're really fragile. Like, they came out perfect at um, cooked them for 12 minutes, like she said. Whoa. Okay, you guys, it's time to taste test the kale chips. They smell really good and they're really fragile. Like, they came out perfect at um, them for 12 minutes, like she said. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Do you guys hear how crunchy that is? It's kind of giving me like seaweed vibes. I love seaweed, like as a snack. This is so good. Wow, super flavorful. Um, so good. I love a salty snack. The next time I'm craving chips, I'm definitely gonna go for this. This is great. I'm gonna take all of these snacks out now and then rate which one's my favorite. Okay, you guys, I think this has been the funnest YouTube video I've filmed in a long time. It's just been really fun to cook with you guys and try a bunch of delicious foods. So now I'm gonna rank them. 
according to what's most delicious and also what I could eat regularly and have it still be a really actually a really healthy treat and not just kind of like a dessert. First up, you guys, this cookie dough, I actually put it in the fridge and it actually is the perfect temperature now, it tastes amazing. What I love about this is it's still high protein because of the garbanzo beans. Yes, it's a little bit high in fat, it's still a little bit of a treat, but you could build this into your, into, your, into your day because it does have enough protein in it. I think the next one that was my favorite would probably be the kale chips, and that's also because I'm a savory girl. I like salty snacks, usually more than sweet things, and these are just so, they're so perfect. Oh my God, so healthy. Definitely out of everything here, the lowest calorie, but again, we're not always focused on like the lowest calorie, right? The frozen treats, mm, I guess the pancakes were my, my next favorite. They're just a true Sunday morning pancake vibe. Would I have these every weekend? No, probably not, just because they are really, really high in carbs. Would I have a few, maybe like a small three of them for sure, but I couldn't eat a full serving like I could this or probably a couple cookie dough bites. Next would be, okay, here's the thing. The strawberry and banana, what do you call them? Ice cream bites. I could see myself eating those like keeping them in my fridge and just having them at night before bed or like whenever I have like a little sweet tooth because they were that good. But I wouldn't eat them like throughout the day. Like I would treat them as dessert instead, like a healthy dessert alternative. The yogurt cups I actually would eat for breakfast because they're really low in sugar, like no sugar. They have protein, they have fat, and they have fiber with the berries and the chia seeds. I would legitimately call the yogurt cups a true PFF meal that you could enjoy kind of like any time and it's not super sugary or anything like that. I absolutely love these five snacks. They came out so good. I'm literally, I'm so amazed with TikTok. I don't know how these kids, how these kids do it. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This honestly took a few like hours, I would say my whole day and a lot of effort. So if you got this far in the video, I would really appreciate you giving it a like and also subscribe for more content tailored to petite women, healthy lifestyle, fitness advice, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.